This is the prequel cause the first episode made absolutely no fucking sense. Kenny dear why are you so obsessed with violence? I know that you're into it but please tell me why. Mom, we already went through this. I don't like killing people, I just like how weapons look on my walls. I would never kill a person, but if that person gets bitchy at me then I'ma fuck them up. I know but your school is worried about you becoming a possible danger to the students. They say that you're constantly talking about how you would love to kill everyone in the school and shit like that. Bitch please. They say that shit to make fun of me because I'm not like the rest of the preppy ass bitches who are so damn popular. They constantly bully my ass because I'm different. Yeah but still, the students say that you draw really disturbing images of them with their heads cut off. Please why can't you be a normal daughter Mackenzie? I love you but I want a normal ass daughter. Well I'm so damn motherfucking sorry that you don't have the daughter you want. Bitch you complain about everything and when you're pissed off you always take your anger out on me and shit like that. Which isn't fair at all. Fuck you. I'm only saying the shit I say because I love you. Yeah I take my anger out on you and that is not fair you're right, but you still are a fucking weirdo and not a normal 13 year old girl. Fuck normalcy. I am who I am you are gonna love me for who the fuck I am bitch. Fine you win as usual Kenny. I'm just trying to protect you. But you won't accept that so fuck you too bitch. After that argument Kenny now goes to school, cause it be the morning, or something I don't really fucking know what time it is. I just want a normal ass day at school and not have to deal with bitches. Please. Oh look it's the fucking weirdo ass bitch Mackenzie Dwyer ah. Ha ha ha. Fucking creepy ass bitch. Josh go fuck yourself in a hole in the fucking ground you annoying retard who claims to know me but doesn't. Ha ha ha. Oh I'm sorry were you talking cause I heard nothing out of that creep ass mouth. Ha ha ha. Go die. Not if you die first weirdo ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Why does my life suck? Cause that is what you fucking deserve creep. Ha 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 ha. She then goes to the fucking counselor's office cause she that upset. Kenny why are you here? People are harassing me for being different. I want it to stop but people keep on harassing me. They maybe I can tell your teachers to put you in a different classroom or have you be moved to a different seat. That's all the school can do. I'm sorry Kenny, if they still act like douchebags then come down here. Okay. I mean it's better than nothing, thanks. No problem, the school cares about you and you have friends here too. So you don't have to feel lonely and or harassed. Thank you. So that shit happened and Kenny decides to invite her friend Nina over cause fuck you plot needs it. Also it's right after school. Yo bitch I feel like you're the only one who likes me for me. I mean Nina let's face it. No one fucking likes me. I mean yes but no but yes. I mean there are always guys and people who are gonna like you. Not just because you're a killer but you're really nice, funny, and caring, and loyal. You are such an awesome friend. Anyone who thinks otherwise is an asshole. And this is why you're my literal best friend. Quite frankly my only friend. Bitch let's face the facts. I'm like you where no one likes me or talks to me because I'm different. I mean look at me. No one at school dresses like me or acts like you Kenny. Yeah right. Ha 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 you're right. Yeah. Well I'm gonna head downstairs to go get a snack. Wanna come? Sure. It'll take my mind off the hell on earth which is school. They go downstairs to go get a snack it is probably after school hours let's just say maybe 3.30 p.m. I don't know. So what do you want? We don't have a lot of options so yeah. Um, I'm not sure surprise me. Okay. She goes to get Nina a bag of goldfish, cause that is all she had. No she had other shit but fuck you that is what she got. Thanks Kenny. No problem bitch. Hey Kenny, isn't your mom coming home soon? Oh fuck. She is coming home soon. But it's alright she likes you anyway. Okay. As long as she likes me and of course you too right. Yeah. Oh boy we see Kenny's mother come home from the strip club cause she works there as a porn star. I'm almost home. I can't wait to fuck my husband he is home in his room. Okie dokie killer dreads mother Kate is home. Yes they live in an apartment. And no one lives near them or even in the same apartment with them so they have the entire thing to themselves. Hey honey how was work? Sexual as always. Man I'm so easy for the guys to get a hold of. They always go for me because I'm so easy and obedient to them. I mean all of the guys they touch me and lick me all over. That's gross. 
you're my wife and as your husband I feel like you shouldn't be going out with other guys and shit. Girl I want to keep you away from other men. It makes me feel shitty as a husband. And not to mention Kenny. She would go ham on your ass for cheating on me and you know that damn fucking well. Whore. Yeah I know but it's the only way to make money. I want to provide money for the family Mark and you know this. I am doing what I do to get paid so I can support the family. And if that means going to strip clubs and acting like a fucking slut then so be it. Wow! So you would sabotage your relationship with me just for money. That's really fucking sad to hear that my wife is going out with other guys just for money. There are other jobs you could be love. Why this? Because slutty whores get paid really good and I want the money. Can I ask you one question then? What is it love? Do you really love this family? Or are you in this only for the money? And be honest with me hon. I don't want some bullshit. No, I am only in this for the money and so that I can be rich and you and Kenny can be poor as fuck. After all that Mark and Kate go downstairs to tell Kenny about what happened. Love there's something I need to tell you. Sorry for interrupting you Anina. Oh it's alright I mean we were only talking about maybe a sleepover over the weekend. Oh that's okay. But your mother and I got into a big ass argument over our relationship. And I'm worried about a divorce. What the literal all knowing walking talking fuck. Wow. Honey it's true. She is cheating on me. Bitch what the fuck. You didn't think to tell me. And how long has she been cheating on you? Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Um. For about a couple of years. Ever since your mother got her new job. The job I said could ruin the family if she continues to work. Yes. Your mother told me that a lot of guys are hitting on her. I'm worried that she might just be in a relationship with any if not all of them. Oh my god what the fuck dad. Why have you allowed it for years now? Don't you think it's time to quit being such a pussy and start acting like a man and saying no? Yes but I love her too much to say no to her. For fear I would hurt her. So that shit happened. Kenny goes to Nina's house, cause holy fuck she had to get the fuck away from that shit. Pretend that the fucking lounge area is a fucking bedroom. Hey Nina, so I packed all my shit dot for the sleepover. Holy fuck this is my first sleepover. Yay. Great. This is my room. It's really comfy and cozy. Alright. So since I've never been to another person's house, what do you want to do? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe talk about our deepest darkest desires because fuck you. Alright, I'll go first. So I've told you the fact that I'm a killer, right? Yes. Well I for a while have wanted to kill my parents. It started when I was little and accidentally killed my goldfish named Penny. Then I started to get more into murder and killing people. I know you know my parents are shitholes and don't like me for me. But anyway, I want to kill my parents in the worst possible way. To remind them of how much mental and psychological pain they put me through. Alright Nina your turn. Damn. That was harsh. But I understand your motive for killing your parents. To be like revenge. Well I don't think I've told you this before. I want to commit suicide because of my parents. Constantly bitching at me for liking you. I want to kill myself because I like you. Not in a romantic way. You hell no, but in a friend way. Well shit, I'll be damned, don't kill yourself, kill the ones who kill you Nina. Alright they go to sleep over shit and go to bed. It cuts to the next day where Kenny just got home from Nina's house and is greeted with fuckery from her parents as per usual. Kenny where the fuck were you? I was with Nina, at her house cause I wanted to get the fuck away from the bullshit hellhole that is this household. Well could you have at least tell me, you dumb bitch. The fact of the matter is is that you have to tell me wherever the fuck you're going. Me and your father were worried sick for you last night. Haha, <laughs> yeah the fuck right you were, worried sick, for me. Haha <laughs> get that bullshit out of my face. Do you honestly think I'm gonna believe that shit? Ha 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 no bitch you're so fucking wrong. Haha. <laughs> Ugh fuck you, you bitch. Sorry, gotta face the facts. I fucking love how much you think I'm so fucking stupid. It's hilarious. You are not going to have dinner tonight because of the way you're acting right now. Mackenzie I don't want you to leave this room until tomorrow morning. You little bitch. Kate leaves the room and Kenny gets out of the house by jumping out the window of her bedroom and runs the fuck away. 
because she needs to get out of that shithole. I want to get as far away as possible from my family cause they're just a bunch of bitches who don't give a fuck about me. I mean what the fuck did I ever say to them for making them be this way? I didn't want this to happen. I'm hungry, cold, and lonely. I want to at least go to Nina's house but my parents know where she lives and therefore know where I will be. And I don't want my parents to know where I am. Come I want to eat first. I mean there's a restaurant nearby why don't you try there? Besides they aren't really that expensive. And I do see that you don't have a lot of money. So there you go. Have fun. Oh damn thanks. I'm Kenny and you. Spicy. Thanks Spicy. See ya around I guess. Yeah see ya around Kenny. She goes to a restaurant cause she stole her father's money and her mother's money so she could eat shit and possibly rent a house or apartment somewhere. Surprise surprise Nina just so happens to be there cause fuck you plot needs it. Wow Kenny. I wasn't expecting you here. Why are you here alone? Oh I'm just running away from my family. I don't know what the fuck they are doing and I don't care I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do and there's at this point nothing they can do about it. Wow Kenny. Same honestly. I took into deep thought what you told me and decided to kill my parents and run away. Just like you. Well I'll be damned. We do really make great friends and partners in crime. Don't we? Yeah the fuck we do. I'm so blessed to have the most amazing friend. I really am. I am too. Kenny you're just as amazing as me if not more. Aw thank you Nina. She and Nina eat and pay and leave. Alright I think we are far enough. So what do you want to do or where do you want to go? Hmm. I don't know. How about we find some place to sleep or something like that? Okay. Sounds good. Nina and Kenny go find a place to sleep and sleep there for the night. It now cuts to the next day. Okay, what's for breakfast? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should buy some shit. How much money do you have? Plenty. I saved up all my money and maybe stole some of my dad's money. You. Same here. Only without the saving up money part. Cause I don't have a job. Oh well that just about explains it. Hey, bitch. At least wait actually know my parents bitch at me too. Haha. -ha. Welcome to my world Kenny. They go to the same restaurant they went to for dinner. Cause apparently they sell all meals all day I guess but Spicy is actually here too cause she felt bad for Kenny and wanted to help them. So why are you two just on the streets? Oh my mom is a piece of shit and I wanted to get the hell away from her. Ah, I can understand that. You see, I was once your age and thought the same thing. I love to dress like a schoolgirl with white shirts and red skirts and blah blah blah. Well my parents didn't like that and they bitched and abused me. There was one time I can still remember where my dad grabbed me cause I was eating Hot Pockets. The Hot Pockets were ours and he was a drunk little fuck at the time. Now I don't know what the hell they're doing now. I died at 16 years old by Anthony Walker. I'm not sure you know who he is. But yeah, I can totally understand that. Yeah I've never heard of Anthony Walker before but shit that's harsh. Same here honestly my parents abused the shit out of me too. I mean I really want to kill them. So there's that. They're always talking to me about how they want a different daughter and how they want me to be more quote unquote normal but yeah. Damn I'm sorry Spicy. Who are you? Oh I'm Spicy. Your friend Kenny told me that you two were running away cause your family life is total shit. I'm kinda the same but I'm pretty sure you already heard from Kenny or she can fill you in. Oh okay you're a safe person to talk to. I'm so sorry about that whole thing. That must be so bad to be with alcoholics for parents. Well I want to commit suicide because I'm friends with Kenny. Ah that's so sad. I'm Nina. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself before. Oh it's okay Nina. Well I have to go back to the pizzeria. Well I hope you two find somewhere far away from here. It was great talking to you too. Spicy goes back to the pizzeria and Nina and Kenny go off on their way to get the fuck away from their shitholes and start new lives together not in a gay way, but more in a friend's way. Meanwhile back at home let's just say shit is hitting the fan. Look I'm sorry about the whole thing I love you so much Mark. I was just angry. I by the way hate Kenny. She's so fucking weird and annoying. It's okay baby. Yeah I secretly hate her too. So I was thinking, wanna go on a killing spree since Kenny is gone? Yes of course dear. Okay great. So who do you want to kill first? Your sister. She likes Kenny and doesn't even know about her criminal activities or interests. Perfect. 
let's go. They go to her aunt's house. Oh God, meanwhile shit is hitting the fan too. Dr. Peter and Fernand got info about Kenny from her parents and they said that she's a fucking maniac loving killing and violence and shit. And they set out to look for her. So where is she? I can't see her. We've been looking for her for days. I don't know where the fuck she is. We have to keep on look. Oh my god I see her. Let's go. Perfect she's gonna hate us. This will finally be the day where we are the Heros and the city of Arkham will love us. So they are gonna go sneak up on Kenny and Nina and kidnap her. It cuts to Kenny and Nina. Hey who are those two guys over there? I don't fucking know who they are, but they don't look trusting. Let's get the fuck out of here. Agreed. Let's go. They try to get out of the streets, but they are then stopped by Peter. We've been looking for you. Who the all-knowing fuck are you? And why the fuck have you been quote-unquote looking for me? No reason. We just want to get rid of people like you. You're coming with us. Get in the car now, bitch. Wait, what? No, I didn't do anything wrong. Stop. Well, too late, crazy bitch. So they ended up taking Kenny and returning Nina to her home where she planned to save Kenny eventually. It cuts to the room they put Kenny in. This is your new home now, bitch. Fuck you. I will now get the two most crazy inmates for you to speak with. Uh, okay. Dr. Peter leaves it now cuts to Kenny and Joker. So you must be the newest crazy person here, huh? Wait, what? I'm not crazy, I just like weapons and how they look on my walls. I'm not really into killing. Except for the fact that I really want to kill my parents for being absolute shitholes. But other than that, not really. Why? Oh, just wanted to know. So rough background. Ha ha ha, don't we all have rough backgrounds here? What? Wait, you have a rough background too? Yes, unfortunately, but I use all the bottled anger to kill people and act like a total maniac. You should try it. It's fun, really fun. Uh, okay. I'll go get my queen, Harley. Hey girl, I'm Harley. Wow, you're nicer than I thought. Holy shit. Well, I'm Kenny. Nice to meet you, Kenny. So why are you here? I was abducted because I don't really know why. Maybe because I love killing and weapons and shit. I have had a longing for killing my parents cause they're just absolute shitholes. I see. You have parental issues. That's basically normal here in Arkham Asylum. So there are plenty of people here for you to talk to about shitty parents. Myself and my King Joker included. Wait, this is an asylum. Yes. What the all-knowing fuck? Get me the fuck out of here. It's okay silly. Calm down. We are just gonna be like your new friends or something of that nature. It's fine. But the doctors here are shit. But we're fine though. So you don't have to worry about a thing. Oh okay at least you guys are safe. I'm scared already. I want to go home. Wait actually fuck home this is my new home now. That's the spirit. Now we have to give you a pin name or code name of some kind. You got any ideas hun? Hmm. How about Killer Dread? I like that name. And my initials can be KD. How about it? That's amazing. I love the name. We're gonna make a great trio. You, me, and Mr. J. I love the name. KD, you're the newest member of our little gang. Well, it's just me and Harley, but yeah. Welcome, Killer Dread. Thank you, Joker. I can finally be a member of something. Finally. Anytime, Dread. Now that you're technically a member, we got to get you to start killing people. Who do you want to kill first? Surprisingly not my parents. So there's this guy in my class who's a piece of shit, always torturing me and shit. His name is Joshua Verdo. I would love to see that asshole suffer. It would be great. Perfect. Where is he, do you know? He's probably at school. Right now it's 12.17 so they are at lunch right now. That's where he is more than likely. Do you know where your school is? Yes. Take us there now. They all go to Killer Dread's old school that she dropped out of. Killer Dread brought a knife and a dagger with her. So you be careful when you're killing you don't want to get caught. But nonetheless, have fun. Go have yourself a bloody fucking massacre. Killer Dread. Oh I will, just you wait when you see blood all over my hands cause I brought a knife and a dagger from you too. I'm ahead and you guys just wait here. Alrighty so Killer Dread goes into school. Oh my god Kenny is back ha 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 ha. Shut your bitch ass up fucker. Ah boo hoo. The little bitch doesn't want me to say anything for fear I'd make her cry again. Ha ha ha. Bitch fuck off. Okay whatever you say ass hat. Killer Dread goes up to Josh and stabs him in the chest. Ah uh, ha ha. What the fuck was that for? 
You crazy bitch. That's what you fucking deserve, dipshit. A couple thousand murders later, you now see Killer Dread coming out of the school with blood all over her clothes. She's smiling. So you look happy as fuck. Yes, and I'm so proud of myself too. I just committed my first massacre. Well, I'll be damned. Well done, KD. Well done, Killer Dread. I see you were busy. Yeah, I was killing a bunch of people who were bitchy to me, as a revenge on their asses. Great job, hun. Thank you, Harley. So that shit happened and suddenly Killer Dread got this tingly feeling in her hands. A light was bursting out of KD's body, and she by some ungodly reason was able to blow up the school. Holy shit I didn't know I could do that. What the jumping flying horse fuck? To be honest I don't know either Dread. You must be the chosen one of some kind. I mean I don't know how the literal fuck I could have managed to do that. What is happening to me? Maybe we should escape. Or at least try to get the fuck out of here. Yeah you're right let's get out. So let's just say that Harley, Joker, and Dread tried to escape but there were police cars and Arkham Asylum cars in their way. So they couldn't escape so they were brought back to Arkham Asylum. This is the end of the prequel.